Although trash compactors can vary from model to model, they all operate on similar principles. Trash compactors use an electric motor to drive one or more power screws that move a ram up and down within the compactor drawer. The ram will compress the trash to make it easier to dispose, provided the drawer is at least one-third filled. To begin the compacting process, the drawer must be fully closed. If not, a safety switch or switches will not close, preventing the appliance from operating. When the start switch is moved to the start position, 120 volts of alternating current is allowed to flow through the directional switch and energize the motor's clockwise start winding and the run winding. The centrifugal switch on the drive motor opens and the ram moves down. The directional switch is triggered as the ram lowers and the contacts in the switch change position. Once the ram has compacted the trash, the motor slows and stalls. The centrifugal switch closes briefly, directing current to the counterclockwise start winding. This reverses the motor direction, causing the ram to move upward. Once the ram returns to its top position, the directional switch will interrupt all current flow to the motor. Be aware that many models offer a solid or hard pack option which keeps the ram in the down position once the trash has been compressed. Some models also have a drawer tilt switch, which will close and raise the ram if the drawer is out of alignment, preventing further damage to the compactor. The relationship between the motor's centrifugal switch and the directional switch is critical to compactor operation. If the unit does not complete a compacting cycle, it's likely that the contacts inside the directional switch have become damaged. The switch can be tested using an ohm meter to determine if the switch is defective and needs to be replaced. Most drive systems consist of one or more power screws, power nuts, a chain or belt, and gears to drive the RAM. The power nuts on this model mount on the RAM. The power screws have sprockets at the bottom, which are driven by a chain. The chain attaches to a sprocket and gear assembly, driven by the motor drive gear. If the power nuts become stripped, the ram will not move up or down properly and will likely make noise during operation. The same is true for the motor gear or the sprocket and gear assembly. The chain and sprockets rarely fail, so if you suspect a problem with the drive system, we recommend inspecting the power nuts and drive gears first. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your trash compactor. Enter the appliance's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.